What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike aka Michael Mitchell and I'm back at it again with another video and in today's video we're going to talk about why I essentially got credit limit increases for my two main credit cards which are my Apple card right here as you can see Apple card and my Uber credit card. So these two cards and why I got credit limit increases for both of them. Let's get right into it. So I've talked about credit and credit cards on this channel a couple of times now and personally I believe those are some of my best videos but regardless of the fact these are the two credit cards that I got credit limit increases for if you don't know I have four credit cards I have another video for that it'll actually be up there not over there I don't know why I pointed over there but yeah another video for that will be up there and yeah let's get into it so first up we're going to talk about my apple card if you guys don't know from my previous credit card videos i use my apple card as a debit card this is a credit card but i use it as a debit card meaning i use this card to pay for pretty much every purchase i make and then once i make that purchase i go and pay the car card off and boom i get the points i get the cash back but i don't owe anything or any interest or anything like that at the end of the month or the next month there's no carrying balance and all that kind of stuff the statement the statement balance is paid for at the end of every single month it's due at the end of every single month so it makes it super easy on me but if your credit card is not like that i'm pretty sure you can just call them up and they can change that date for you i think for my bank of america card it's usually on like the 15th of the month or whatever but i'm pretty sure you can call them up and get that changed if not just you just gotta stay focused with you know what day your bills actually do but regardless pay this thing off every single month. Since that's my main card, I wanted to have the lowest utilization rate possible. If you guys don't know, your utilization rate makes up about 35, 30 to 35% of your credit score. So if that thing is through the roof, meaning if you have a credit limit of $1,000 and you're spending like $900 of that $1,000, then it's gonna be a problem. But if you're spending $300 or $200 of that $1,000, then you look like you know what you're doing. You look like you know you can pay for your bills, pay stuff off on time and you won't have any interest i'm assuming because if you have a thousand dollars on there you're maxing out your card you're probably not gonna pay that whole thing off at the end of the month maybe you will maybe you won't but ten, generally speaking most people don't so if you're not using the majority of your balance obviously it looks good on your part the credit people like that like banks and whatnot and your credit score will go up obviously that higher credit score can benefit you in multiple different ways by you getting new cards or you getting new loans whether that's car loans school loans lower interest rates lower mortgage rates anything in life if you have a high credit score or a really good credit score or even a good credit score you're just going to be better off than someone that doesn't it's just that simple that higher credit limit also helps in the case of an emergency like i said before in a previous video you should have an emergency fund but if you don't and you need to use a credit card to you know pay for something like getting your car fixed or if it's broke down out of nowhere then boom you could do that if you just had cash you might not have enough cash and you might need your car fixed the same day. But if you had a credit card, you could take care of that with ease and you could pay it off at a later date, hopefully before the due date. So you don't pay any interest on whatever you have to pay off. But I understand life happens. It is what it is. But that's why you should have an emergency fund. And that's why I made a video about that. But like I mentioned before, I actually requested that credit limit increase through Apple. It was super simple to do right on the wallet app. I just text Apple, need that credit limit increase. Boom, they hit me back in like a week. And I had a new credit limit, which was obviously higher than the one I had before. This can vary from credit card to credit card. But generally speaking, you can either go on their website, like whatever credit card you have, you go on their website, sign in and you can request a new credit limit increase or you can just call them up on the phone do the same exact thing request a credit limit increase i would say wait wait at least three to six months after you've already had the card if you're just getting a card and you want a credit limit increase like for instance you get a card for a thousand dollar limit and you feel as though a thousand dollars isn't enough you need more than that try to use the card for at least three to six months to show them that you actually can pay for the car you're going to pay for the card on time you're going to pay for the car with no interest and boom go ask for it i'm pretty sure it'll get approved but another thing to make sure when you do that is make sure they're doing a soft pull on your credit account and not a hard pull when they do a hard pull on your credit account your credit score could drop temporarily but it could drop and you may need your credit score for something else in the future you may not so this varies obviously in the situation but if they do a soft pull your credit score isn't impacted and you will still get your higher limit which is the case with my apple card and also the case with my right here uber card so with my uber credit card i actually didn't even request a credit limit increase funny enough they gave me one about six months after i had been using the card i actually got the apple card and uber card one day apart from each other so it's been about six months of me having both of the cards 
Apple didn't give me a limit increase automatically. I actually asked for it, but it was no worries there. That's all fine. Or on the other hand, it can be like Uber where they just gave it to me because they saw I was just paying on it on time every month without doing all this ridiculous interest, not maxing out my car, doing all that stuff. And they gave me a credit limit increase. They also did not do a hard pull on my credit, which would impact my credit score negatively. So it works out both ways. I didn't even have to ask. I was going to ask anyway, but I wanted to make sure I got the Apple one first because that is my main go-to card. Like I mentioned before in previous videos, my Uber card is mainly for travel and food, which I kind of do a lot of. So maybe I should get another card coming soon. So obviously these two cards are my go-to cards. I do have two other cards, but they weren't really that important to me to get credit limit increases. Sure, you can have a credit limit increase on all of those cards or just a higher credit limit in general on those cards, but I didn't really need it. So I didn't request it. If they give it to me, sure. If they don't, they don't. That's cool with me too. I have videos up talking about my four different credit cards that I have and how I use them. I have videos talking about the cash back on all the credit cards, how I use that. I have videos talking about how your credit score may drop because of the new FICO model that's taking place this 2020 around summertime. So make sure you watch that video because those credit limit increases definitely would help with that and definitely would ensure that your score wouldn't drop. So make sure you check all those videos out. So that's basically it for this video. I basically want to give you guys some insight on the two cards that I'm using, my two main cards, and also the benefits of getting a higher credit limit on both of those cards and what that can do for you going forward. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit it with a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. It is what it is. I understand. I'll go about my day. You'll go about yours. If you have any questions about credit cards, anything, saving, personal finance, I do all that stuff here on the channel. Obviously, check out my videos and drop a comment down below to, so I, to basically ask that question and I can help you out with that. Thank you for watching this video. I'm out. Dollar Mike. Peace.